on this episode of Living the Dream. Captain Jimmy and Louisa travel to the plantation on Crystal River. They head offshore with Captain Eric Hasty of Shasty McNasty Fishing. And all are dealt hours of constant angling action. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is presented by Salt Life. Live Salty. Good fish. Woo! Man, what a fish. Wow. Doesn't get any better than Baja. This is awesome. What I'm talking about. On this trip out of the plantation on Crystal River, Louise and I hooked up with our buddy, Captain Eric Hasty of Shasty McNasty, and we decided to head offshore to try to catch some grouper and snapper. When we got to the first spot, it was a wreck, and what Louise and I decided to do was drop down our vertical jigs and see what we could pull up off the bottom. My jig got hit right away, and I could tell it was an amberjack. There it is. Oh, right. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Got it. And he's running. Well, welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're fishing out of the plantation on Crystal River with Captain Eric Hasty of Shasty McNasty, and we're starting off with pulling on some amberjack. If you're gonna catch amberjack, you do want to catch them first thing in the morning because they will wear you out. So we're gonna start with these guys and then possibly do some grouper and snapper a little later on. Not long after I hooked up, I heard Louisa saying that she had a grouper on the other side of the boat. Jimmy, I think I have one too. All right. <laughs> Doubled up. Woo. I just jigged him up on one of those uh, tsunami knife jigs. This is a five and a half ouncer because we're only in 60 feet of water. That was a great way to start off the day with a double on an amberjack and a grouper. Amberjack will fight you all the way to the top, too. What I was saying there, nice thing about these guys, they don't have any teeth or anything in their mouth, so you can grab them, do what you need to do to lift them in the boat. Real good fish there. <laughs> there it is, well done, wow. Louisa. Nice one, Jay. On those tsunami Woo. knife jigs. Did the trick, great double, first drop here. Awesome, awesome way to start. Great way to start. That's what we caught it on right there. Vertical jigs are pretty killer for amberjack. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. My work is done. <laughs> there he goes. All right. Wow, well done, Eric. First drop, time for drop number two. <laughs> After throwing Louisa's gag in the ingle and my AJ back in the water, I went ahead and dropped down a live bait to see what else I could pick up down there. There was a bunch of AJs at this spot, so of course, by dropping that live bait, I ended up hooking another AJ. After seeing Louisa pull that grouper up, I decided to drop a pinfish down and see if I can get another grouper. But no, oh man, this might be an AJ. They're a lot of fun though. AJs are great fighters. They're very strong fish. They're not in season right now, so we were just catching them for fun, but they are a great fish to catch. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, look at that school of AJs. Wow, that's a lot of them. I think if the water temperature is a lot cooler on the surface than on the bottom. They hit about 20 feet below the surface and they just want to head right back down. It's like it just shocks them. Whoa. Our water temperature dropped from about 75 to 59 in a week. And now we're back up to a little over 60 on the surface out here. And there he is. Again, just using a pinfish with an 8-0 circle hook. 
And that's what it produced. <laughs> Big old AJ. Fun, fun fish to catch in season or out of season. I've always loved catching these guys. They put up a heck of a fight. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Sea Deck. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. CNH Lures. Be a winner with CNH Lures. Yozuri. Fish the best. Angle Coolers. The original high performance cooler. And by Cressy. Since 1946. You're watching Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson, presented by Salt Life. It's just one of those places that you can catch fish year round, and I would highly suggest coming and checking out the plantation on Crystal River and enjoying a day on the water. As you guys know, one of my favorite places in the world to fish is right here on the plantation on Crystal River because you catch so many fish, whether you're inshore fishing for redfish, snook, or trout, or you're offshore fishing like we did on this trip. And I live right here, you know, 20 minutes away, so it's definitely a blessing to be able to come out here and catch nice grouper and snapper, amberjack. Jimmy has just landed another Amber Jack, and he's ready to revive and release it. All right, sending another one on his way. Another hefty fish. Oh gosh, look at that. That thing would not even give me the chance to revive him. <laughs> it's right out of my hands. It's another good thing about this cold water, man. They recover very quickly because it's full of oxygen. The warmer water in the summertime is just, you know, it just kind of wears them out quicker. There's less oxygen in it. And you do have to revive them a little more, but they're kicking off fine in this 60 degree water. After releasing that second AJ, I noticed that there were a whole bunch of AJs on the surface, so I decided to go ahead and grab a Yozuri 3D popper and see if I could hook one up on a popper. After flipping that popper out there, I only got to pop it about two times and then it got slammed by an AJ. Oh! <laughs> That's the way to catch an amberjack. Oh man, on the Yozuri 3D popper. It is exciting to see those amberjack hit on the top like that. They just come right up and crush it. No better way to have a fish hit a lure, in my opinion, than on the top of the water. He's not gonna come up easy. What I did with that uh, 3D popper there is I popped off the treble hooks and threw on a couple 5 j hooks just so it's a lot easier taking them out when I get the fish near the surface. And that's the deal with Amberjack right there. I mean, it is just <laughs> a constant battle. They will fight till the very last second when you're pulling them out of the water. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life Optics, unparalleled clarity and contrast. Cayman Islands Angling Club. Come experience sport fishing in paradise. Papa's Pilar, never a spectator. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. And by American Fishing Wire. 